Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with our European night crawlers. And I did want to take a peek. I'm late to get here to feed these guys. I had some little projects in the works. So wanted to check on them. They look great. But I am in the process of switching all of my bins over to 10 gallon bins. This I think is a 12 or an 18 gallon. But because my populations are growing and these deeper bins get very um, compact at the bottom and I want to control the moisture content, I have decided to move them. Oh, look at him. Into some 10 gallon bins. So. I'm just gonna split these eyeball, like eyeball it and split these guys into two 10 gallon totes, add some bedding and feed them up. I don't really have any plans for an experiment for these guys, I just wanna give them a little bit more living space. So I'm gonna split this bedding and these worms up into these two um, 10 gallon husky bins that I drilled holes in. And um, I'm not drilling holes in the lids because space-wise, um, I already have some issues as far as limited space. And the benefit of some of these 10 gallons is that I can stack four or five, even six of them, and it takes up much less floor space. So let me get these guys split into two bins, and I'll bring you back and we will get the new bins fed and um, see how it looks. Okay guys, so I eyeballed it. We have roughly the same amount of material in both bins. And I tried to eyeball the worm count and that's about, about equal as well. The benefit to switching over to these 10 gallon tubs is that worms don't care so much about depth. It's surface area that allows them to spread out and they're um, more apt to reproduce for you and not feel cramped. And that's another reason why I really think this will be beneficial. But since I'm switching all of my bins over to this um, method, I did, let's see if I can grab them here. On the lids, I did label them ENC1 and ENC2. And I'm gonna do the same for my red bins as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave the lid off. But let me grab um, a little bit of bedding, and we will uh, also add a feeding to these guys. So I got my lighting a little bit better in here. And I have both my bins. I just put a good amount of bedding on the one side. And I have a rather large container of food here. And I figured I would be pretty generous with these guys today. So I've got watermelon which is always a favorite so I'll give both of these bins some watermelon sorry there's thunder in the background it's raining yet again here in Maryland it's been awful this summer but fall is upon us so I'm just gonna add a little bit of my soup stock as well they always enjoy this and we will give them some crushed eggshell and then we'll bury this up a bit. Let me grab some eggshell here. Again, that's a grit source for the worms. Um, they have a gizzard, so they need um, some sort of grit to help grind the food in there digestive tract. So what I'm gonna do here is just use some of the castings. Castings are some of the best things to cover up your food source. It really, it's a thick layer and it doesn't allow for a lot of the smells to be released. And that's why lately I've been trying to use more of my castings to cover up my feedings as opposed to um, just regular old bedding. I'm trying to get some of these bugs under control in here. But with this added surface area, I feel like these guys will probably be less apt to go traveling on me. Um, 
and they'll probably stay in their bedding a little bit better because they have more room. So I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to have to get a better system down so I'm not leaning over like this. Hopefully you guys can see well what I'm doing. So same deal, cover up the food real well so critters can't smell it. The rest of this, I'll just leave kind of shallow over here. They can still go over there if they want. It can be a little escape area if for some reason they don't like the feeding. And we will leave these guys for another week. Like I said, we're not um, experimenting with these guys. That's why I didn't count out worms or measure out food. Um, I just want to see how this goes before we get into any sort of new experiments. So I'm going to leave the lids off of these just overnight so that these guys can settle in. Um, I mean, all of this bedding and, and um, material is already inoculated, so I don't think they'll have a hard time um, adjusting, but Nonetheless, it's raining, worms like to travel, so I'm just going to leave it overnight. Then I'll pop the lids on. So I did add a very significant number of holes, and I did a smaller drill bit than I usually do. Um, hoping that the worms won't try to climb out of these if condensation builds up. Um, we'll have to see how it goes with not having holes in the lids and stacking these bins, but um, I've seen people do it pretty successfully, so we will give it a shot. and. Later, if we have to drill holes in the lids and find a way to separate them, we'll do that. But I always like to bring you guys along for my experimenting, so I wanted to share this with you today. Um, next week, we'll be splitting the African Nightcrawler bins as well. So it should be a lot of new fun stuff coming up lately, guys. So I appreciate all your patience with me recently. I know I've been a little bit behind on updates, um, but trying to get back on track. Um, and I will do my very, very best for you guys. So... If you are interested in reading my blog or buying worms, feel free to drop over my website. It's listed below, and I hope you guys have a great day.